I'm getting so bored of doing this intro. I'm trying not to put in too many stats because it gets dull and boring, but we're here to compare. <clears throat> this, this tent is comparable to generally the Van Gogh, Nevis 200, Cairngorm 200, the Helium UL2. There's other more expensive tents out there, the Terra Nova, um, but this is, we're talking budget here. And this one beats them all hands down on budget and on space. So the majority of those tents tend to be sort of 2.1 meters long, 90 to 95 centimeters internal height, and 120 across. This is the Regatta Montegra 2. It is 245 centimeters long, 100 centimeters internal height, 120 across. Now 245 centimeters is eight feet. I'm six foot four, so I'm gonna fit in there easy. This is gonna suit a lot of tall people. If you're over eight feet and you're out in the woods, you're probably covered in fur and making knocking noises on trees anyway and howling at strangers, so you don't need a tent. But this tent is not only budget in comparison to those Nevis ones, you can find it online for £75.99. pence. So is it any good? Let's have a look. Hi guys. Um, so I'm out testing this new tent. Uh, it looks quite interesting. I've put it up at home, um, just indoors, tied it down a little bit. So it gave me a bit of a, a bit of space to get inside and put the inner up because it came it came separated from the outer. Um, I did actually disconnect it. Uh, I like a small pack size, and when they're both together, it's quite it's quite a bulky pack. Um, so I've taken the inner back out of it and I've put it into a compression sack and the actual tent comes with the compression sack anyway So I'll put the main fly in there. Hopefully you can hear me. It is really windy. I'm coming out to test it Literally I've only got it today. So I'll come out to my neighbor's field so I have a permission camp So before anyone starts shouting for wild camping illegally or when we're in lockdown, I'm literally next door to my house So uh, I've got permission to camp on her field. So I'm gonna pitch the tent up. I probably won't film it. It's it's really, really windy. So it's going to be a good test tonight. It's forecast 45 kilometer an hour winds uh, and um, constant rain. So that should be fun. Anyway, I'll get it up and I'll show you the tent. Okay, so here's the tent up. First ever pitch, so forgive if it's not perfect. We need to tighten it a little bit. But as you see, it's very, very similar and identical in design, effectively, to the uh, Van Gogh Nevis or Cairngorm or the Helium UL2. So you've got these, uh, they're eight and a half mil poles, uh, aluminium or alloy, pole, alloy poles. Seem fairly sturdy, time will tell, obviously. There's not much, a huge amount of ventilation in it, so there is uh, an air vent at each end. There isn't one in the door though. Um, what I do quite like, and this will probably get different comments on, on what people think of this, is the, this has got a mesh um, tube that the pole goes through. Um, it's a solid end on it, so it's, which is quite a nice touch for a tent of this sort of price. So you haven't got to mess about putting another, um, you know, clipping it into the pole once you've, uh, once you've set, set the pole through, you haven't got to clip it into another hole. It automatically feeds into it. Well, I quite like this mesh because these types of tents, the worst bit that's going to catch the wind realistically, and you should be facing it this way to the wind for the air vents to work, um, is going to be this big thing that's going to act like a sail. So with this being mesh, it's going to let a lot of the air through and hopefully won't cause as much tension and pressure on it. Now I tried to set this into the wind. The wind was coming that way. As I was putting it up, it came that way, and then it started to come from that way. So it is all over the place. I don't know how it's going to work tonight, but to show you around inside. So the vestibule is fairly small, but you can disconnect the bed or the bedroom area, pull it back, and then you've got, you can see my hand there for reference, fairly decent sized space to store or cook in. But this is a two-man tent, well, a comfortable one-man tent at least, anyway. One thing I did find, um, there's a decent gap between the outer and the inner tent. 
the well these tolls are they all link up fine but this top one has got a, a latch so it's got one of these clip locks uh, on top of the tent which is great but on the actual fly it's got a ring maybe you can see that there so I've had to put one of my trusty velcro straps around the two because there's a latch toggle there and a ring at the top which obviously doesn't make sense and doesn't work so yeah a bit of a design flaw there from regatta well, let's pop inside fairly straightforward fairly standard what you get on most of these types of tents it's got a 10,000 uh, millimeter hydrostatic head floor uh, 5,000 hydrostatic head fly you have pockets on this side two pockets there not at this end but you've got a mesh at both ends for for ventilation and also the door has got quite a bit of mesh on it so there's probably half half of the door is mesh so it, it might ventilate okay it is windy tonight so it's gonna be hard to gauge how well that works okay so look competition see how many times I mention the phrase I'm six foot four throughout this video comment below um, so anyway if you don't know me I'm six foot four and I'm laying on my decathlon four class mat which is 195 centimeters so I'm 192 this is me right at the top above me gee that's further than I thought that's a good foot above my head that is massive now I can sit up in here my head doesn't touch the top obviously the lights in the way um, so yeah it's high enough inside that it doesn't touch the top if I show you the uh, the other end where my feet are now so that is me where I was laying down on my mat and my feet cannot reach the end you can see the mat there is six inches or so before the end and laying down I can lift my feet a foot off the ground and I'm already on my inflated mat so this is the highest it's going to be realistically a sleeping bag is not going to make much difference to the to the height of this bed because it's going to be compressed underneath and when I sit down I can sit fully up without hitting my head I've got the bed extended to or the bedroom the inner extended to the widest it can be but as I say I can unclip it and bring it back and give myself more vestibule space so it's not bad it's I think it's on par with its competitors two man I don't think so I could probably squeeze me and my son in here uh, you know he's only seven he could fit next to me all my gears there my rucksack so you could easily get two people in here and to be honest with you well maybe not two people my size but I could get me and my son in here and I could put the gear at the end of my feet because there is more than enough space for me to move back to allow that for, uh, for gear storage this is going to be a really good night a really good test of this tent I don't know what the uh, the wind strength is out there at the moment I have brought my monometer, so I'll give it a test I don't know how accurate that thing is I had it outside a car window going along it seemed to be about five or six or seven miles an hour less than what it was showing while I was driving but who knows could have had a tailwind uh, but yeah this is obviously already taken a bit of a battering and I've only just set it up it's supposed to get heavier tonight with the wind um, so I so say yeah 40 kilometers an hour but I think this will be this will be fine I'm looking forward to it it'll be a good test and lots of rain so yeah I don't feel cramped I thought I would do in this type of a tent but yeah it feels nice cozy and spacious condensation I think might be an issue so there's not a huge amount of ventilation but there's foot end and head end and there's a fair breeze so I think we might be all right tonight it's just on calmer nights it could uh, possibly cause an issue right I think I'll make a cup of coffee so yeah this is the uh, the vestibule with my little cook pot in it and my uh, new the new table prototype version 2.0 um, I think it'll be all right for cooking in here be careful with it 
I'll give it a go and uh, yeah, get a coffee on. I've noticed there's only the zipper only goes from the bottom to the top. There isn't a top zipper for for venting, which is a shame. But again, this is not your high-end tent that's phenomenally expensive. I know some of the cheaper ones have it as well, but yeah, this is uh, I think for the price, this this tent is phenomenal. Got myself a couple of little Jack Daniels to keep me warm. Don't think it's going to be cold tonight though. Just wet and windy. That's the water pretty much boiled. Get a coffee on. Got a little Taylor's coffee bag. Nice and simple. Nothing too complex. Well, that wasn't too bad cooking in the vestibule. So I've boiled my water. Coffee's just uh, brewing from its bag in there. Dinner tonight. I've got a uh, adventure food minced beef hot pot. Not tried these before. Um, I bought this ages ago when I was going out on my last uh, wild camp, proper wild camp, before lockdown. And uh, I bought it on the day I was going because I was waiting for a, a delivery to turn up of a, uh, a beanie hat and some food uh, that I'd won from, um, it was a summit to eat, uh, that I'd won from Mike at uh, Cornish Knives and Camping. So it turned up literally as I was leaving, leaving the house. So I took that instead. So um, yeah, try this and see what it's like. So I think this is going to be um, quite a good test for me tonight, uh, let alone at the tent in the wind. Um, I don't think I've mentioned, but I'm six foot four. So uh, I always, when I first started looking at tents, all of these type of tents I, I veered away from because they were small inside or they were really, really heavy. Um, and I didn't think I would, I would like a tent of this size, but since I've seen this one and obviously it has the internal height it's 100 centimeters inside high you tend not to get that until you go to a three-man version of this type of tent like the, the Cairngorm or the Nevis 300 so yeah it's got plenty of head height apart from the light here but my head's not hitting the ceiling the length is huge um, it's a good width so I'm actually quite enjoying sitting in here I'm gonna go outside in a minute just to test the wind and see how bad it is stretch my legs a bit but not quite enjoying sitting inside the tent it's nice it's it's cozy and comfy yeah it's not huge like my uh, my one tigress um, but um, yeah I'm liking it so far it's 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 really good I'll check the pegs in a bit because um, it's quite soft ground outside and it's very windy um, I did use my own pegs on this so I didn't use the ones that came with it they're the usual sort of shepherd's hook uh, aluminium pegs they're, they're quite lightweight but um, I just didn't think they would get as much grip. However, you do need two of those at least because of the eyelets on the outer part of the tents. My cross pegs won't go through the hole. They're too big. So luckily I improvised. I had a couple of old spare little tiny ones which I've poked in, uh, but all the guy lines are out tight. So that should, that should keep it fine. Well, the... Uh, the wind is really picking up. It's just died down this second, but um, I went outside to check it because the weather forecast said 40 kilometers an hour. And um, my little anemometer registered gusts of 40 miles per hour. So um, it's uh, just occasionally, it's not too bad. Yeah, there's just a massive gust that you hear it going through the trees. I'm quite close to those trees, hopefully they don't come down. Um, but yeah, there's just a general constant wind, maybe 10, 15 miles an hour, nothing much. Um, but then there's just a sudden gust uh, where this thing just bounces about everywhere. It's holding up so far, so uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm going to get my food on now, get some grub in me, getting hungry. Good stuff, this. Jack Daniels with honey. I'll try the spicy one in a bit. Mm. Okay, so uh, my dinner's on. Just got to leave that for 10 minutes. Just thought I'd give you a quick overview of my um, my stuff that I have, my, my gear. So, um, as you can see there, my long-handled titanium spork. Super bargain, £2, AliExpress, including delivery. Can't, can't beat that. Um, 
my cook set i've got a trangia which is like a hundred quid and i do use it it's great for proper cooking um, but for just normal boiling um, i have a little five pound cook set which is two pots lid stroke saucepan and um, my stove that i'm using at the moment homemade windshield courtesy of thatchers and my well they call it a fancy feast stove this one isn't it's uh, made out of a very small tuna tin and a uh, starbucks espresso tin so there's a video that i've got i'll pop it up on the screen if you want to watch it uh, of how to make it great little stove really good for boiling water very quick very efficient um, and obviously my homemade table folds away nice and flat weighs about 70 grams fantastic little bit of kit um, I have a soya micro squeeze uh, filter not brought it out with me now I've just filled the bag up and carried it because I'm only 100 yards from the house so not much point in filtering water uh, inside a bit overkill tonight I've got my uh, my Van Gogh Vulcan minus 12 down sleeping bag it's only going to be about 9 or 10 degrees tonight so I think I'm going to be roasting in here so um, I'll be snug and warm anyway I've got a, uh, a Van Gogh uh, inflatable pillow which I have attached a strap to so you can probably see it on the other side there so this is strapped to my mat so similar to the um, Trekology ones that you get. I did find that it's always slipped off, um, but I like to have my head propped up quite high. So I have that attached to my mat, and this is the Decathlon 4 class mat, which is say it's, it's the XL version. 35 quid. It's really really comfy. Uh, it weighs about 630 grams or something. Um, good size. 60 centimeters wide 195 long it's the xl version really comfy it's got these little grippy bits on it so you don't slide but i have on the other side of it i've put um, some silicon just to stop it sliding on the on the floor as well i did find my first one or two camps i was sliding all over the place on a bit of a slope um, i also have a super expensive five pound pillow that i got from um, go outdoors it doesn't roll up really really small it goes into a fairly small pack but i put this inside the hood and it just gives me a bit extra cushioning on my head and it's really comfy and it stays inside the hood while i'm moving about so i have the height from the pillow underneath it and then the hood in there as well um, my lamp is the gold zero lighthouse flash so it's the micro usb rechargeable two settings uh, and a little torch on it as well so it's a it's a great little great little lamp and i've also got a nightcore nu32 headlamp which is uh, adjustable um, it's got several settings on it so it's got red mode so it gives you better night vision doesn't ruin your uh, your night vision when you switch it off and blind you you have a glow mode so this is like a, a sort of like a spread it gives a soft glow in a wide area um, for sort of close-up work or if you're inside the tent uh, and then it has three settings low medium high and then turbo mode so this is in turbo mode it's 550 lumens uh, it's a really good spotlight when i've been i take it dog walking all the time um, and it's phenomenally bright really really good now these are like 40 quid or so on amazon there or thereabouts again aliexpress 22 pounds bargain can't go wrong with that and there's obviously my bag which i've done a review on i'm going to do a long-term review on it it's worked really really well uh, this is a 60 liter plus five nature hike they call it the rock bag i don't know why um, but yeah it's a framed bag 1.2 kilos comes with a comes with a cover on it as well um, 60 plus five liters you've got a really big expandable back to it um, expandable side pockets i get my uh, poles down here my um, my tripod bottle of fuel so it just it takes loads of stuff and it's it's really really comfy fits me perfectly good side pockets on it again lightweight 1.2 kilos good size decent bag 53 quid on aliexpress 
Um, electric wires, I've got a few bits and pieces, but this is my main bit, which is the Anker uh, power core charger. Now this is a 20,000 milliamp hour charger. Um, I have a little pebble as well, which I first used, and I found that it would charge my phone throughout the night just. Um, I've got a big battery on my phone, I think it's four and a half thousand milliamp hour or, or something like that, but um, in the morning it wasn't always 100% full. This thing, I put it on charge, in the morning it's 100%, and those four dots are percentages, so that's full, if it's on three, it's 75%, 50%, 25%. <laughs> when I charge my phone overnight, that is normally on three still. So this will charge my Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, you know, which is the biggest battery you can get in these phones, um, three to four times. Great little bit of kit. Uh, I think that's about it, really. This is my new high-tech boots. They're doing okay. I have had a little bit of water ingress on them, and uh, one of the laces snapped as well, so I'm in the process of, or well, my wife is in the process of uh, talking to the company to see what they're gonna do about it. I also have my decathlon Trek 100 down jacket. Um, it's a fantastic jacket. Quite a few people have done reviews on these uh, on YouTube or on Facebook. And um, it's rated down to minus five and I've, I've had it out in sub-zero temperatures, minus three um, at least. With just a, um, sort of two layers underneath, a t-shirt and a fleece. And it's really, really warm. Um, it's very really lightweight, I think it weighs about 300 grams. Um, and it's 40 quid. I think they've gone up now, but it's been 40 quid for a couple of years. It packs down into its pocket, really tiny if you want to. Um, this is the four class version, but it's such a comfy jacket and really nice fitting. The hood is a bit big. I think it's probably designed for maybe having a helmet inside it if you wanted to use it for skin or whatever. Um, and it doesn't have toggles to tighten it up. But it's it's fine, it's done me good. Um, sometimes if it's if it's really cold, I mean, I'll wear a, a beanie hat and uh, that sort of fills it out a bit. So it depends on how big your head is. But yeah, lovely jacket, great bargain. Does as good as uh, a lot of jackets, three or four times the price. Okay, let's have a try of this. Adventure Foods Minced Beef Hot Pot. Doesn't look as I thought it would do. It's like a creamy carbonara sort of colour. Oh well. Not bad. It's a bit stodgy. I filled it up to the correct line and I put a bit more in afterwards because I thought it looked a bit too stodgy then. So probably could do with a bit more water. It's just to fill it up to a, a mark on here which is number 12. Probably can't see that. But I'll put it well above that. Yeah. It needed more water. It'll do though. It's warm. It's filling. 600 calories. Not that I need any energy to walk a hundred yards back to my house, but keep me going for the night. I've got some hot chocolates for later as well. No pudding though. Which is unlike me. But I didn't bring my freezer for ice cream and chocolate sauce. Sorry if the camera's wobbly. Tens playing against it. Mm. No, it's not bad. Right, that's the first bottle done. Let's have a go of this one. Tennessee Fire. These are actually full-size bottles, but they just look really small in my hands because I'm six foot four.
So um, it's about half past nine now. Um, bearing in mind, obviously still in winter hours at the moment. So it got dark quite early and having to spend the entire time in the smallest tent I've ever been in. Um, it's been quite good. I'm enjoying it. It's, it's nice and cozy. It's comfy. It's given me time to sort of look around it and get my thoughts on it. Um, the wind's been picking up quite bad. It's been sort of maybe just 10, 15 mile an hour, but I went outside with my anemometer and um, it was hitting 40 mile an hour in gusts. And since being back in the tent, there's been some worse ones on top of that. So still a bit blustery now, but not too bad. But the tent's faring up okay. I'll check the pegs, they're all right. Whoa! That was the wind hitting the side of the tent. <laughs> speak too soon um, <clears throat> yeah it's a bit it is a bit flappy but it's, it's very windy as you can see so um, yeah the space wise it's nice it's comfy uh, I'm, I'm, I am enjoying it in here it feels good quality that it's nice material um, as I said I don't think I'm gonna get any issues with ventilation and uh, condensation in here tonight because it's just too windy so it'd be interesting to see how it fares uh, in a milder climate um, there's probably a few little things I'll do to the tent to make it a bit better if anyone who knows me like knows I like to uh, modify and personalize my stuff but uh, maybe some extra tags on the outside just to hold the sides down in between the front and middle pegs uh, it's a bit flappy and a bit loose and you can't really tighten it um, there's no option for that even if you pull the end really really tight it doesn't work but yeah it's, um, I'm quite impressed with it so far. It's it's been a it's a good tent. I'll um, probably just bumble about in here for a little bit. Been on Facebook, watching YouTube, as always, and um, I have an early night I think. But um, finished my second little bottle of Joe Daniels, the hot one, quite good. So yeah. Anyway, if I don't see you again, I'll uh, catch up with you in the morning. Decided I don't like this tent. I'm not allowed to have any barbecues inside it. That's rubbish. Right, it's 11 o'clock. I'm going to try and get some sleep. So I'll uh, see you guys in the morning and see how well the uh, tent lasts through the night. Good night, guys. Good morning. Well, it's um, about 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, tent did well in the night, it has not stopped raining. Um, the wind died down in the early hours, but um, it got a good battering and it, it did well. There was one failure, only a minor thing, and that was a peg that came out. So at the back here, the peg that holds up this end section came out. So this fell down and because there's an air vent there, there's a nice puddle of water. But that's not really a failure. The ground, the ground is soft, um, and it has been horrific wind, so it's just where the peg pulled out. But other than that, it's done really well. Um, as I thought, there'd be no condensation in here at all. Uh, there is some on the outer, on the outer fly. But other than that, yeah, it's going well. I had probably the best sleep I've had camping, I think. I normally wake up every hour or so, and I probably woke up twice last night, um, which is unusual for me. I don't think it's to do with the tent, obviously. Um, probably more the Jack Daniels, but I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna get a coffee on, but I'm gonna have to make a move quite quick. Um, when I went out to do the tent peg, the river is busting at it seems next to me. It's right up level. And although there's a waterfall where it drops off, I think it's struggling to get through. It's like a bit of a, it's a bit of a pool at the top end of it. So I'm a little bit concerned that's going to suddenly pour over and and, uh, <laughs> and flood the tent. We shall see. Looks like I'm packing up just in time. This was nowhere near that part earlier on. There was no water dripping from there, and this was a tiny little stream. Rapids now. We 
there's me packed up, leave no trace in my farmer's field. Excuse the sound, it's a bit windy and I haven't got my microphone attached because uh, I'm too wet. Hey guys, so uh, if you found this uh, video interesting, I hope you did. Um, I think it's a fantastic tent for the price. This you can get, it retails with regatta at £180 and you can get it online for £75.99 delivered. Um, it's so cheap and it's huge. The space inside it is way above the competitors. Um, and yeah, it works really well for me, as I say. I'm six foot four. Um, loads of room for me to lay down in it, and um, lots of headroom. Best of all is an okay size. It worked. I could cook in it, and I managed to get all my gear in. Two people, it would be a bit of a squeeze, but uh, that's what all two men tend to like. So anyway, hope you liked the video. If you did, give a thumbs up. Any comments, stick them below. Any questions, feel free to ask. And of course, as always, if you haven't, please hit the subscribe button. Cheers, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.